two weeks before the May 18th, Christoph Zimno fight. Uh, Oliver, please uh, tell us more. How do you feel today? Two hour training today with, with Doug, Doug Nicholson. Tell us more about it. Well, I feel good. Shuttle box a bit. <laughs> pads and things of that nature. Uh, we definitely on course, we're on course and everything. The thing about it is uh, I really likes to turn things up a bit uh, going into that last two weeks before the fight or whatever, so I don't want to overdo it, you know, in my age and everything, but I feel so great. I feel good and everything and uh, I'm looking forward to having a great fight. I'm, I'm looking forward for my opponent to really come and try to prove something. Of course, he's a young guy, he's a young guy, uh, but I think he's going to run a little bit once he feels my power and whatnot, but uh, I'm expecting a good fight. I'm expecting for him to, to, to put up a good fight because he's got nice little hand speed and everything. And uh, So I'm looking for an explosive fight and uh, may the best man win. In a couple of days you're going to Las Vegas to train there. Uh, it, you told me before that this is what you like to do. You like to train in Vegas. You want to prepare there. Tell, tell us why. Well, because of the altitude. The altitude there. And the last time I was there for the Pacquiao fight, uh, I got some good running on the treadmill and I felt good. So I was in Vegas and things, I want to get in the hot tub and, and, and do a little sauna, get a little sauna in there, and things of that nature, and then I want to get me a lot of good running, some good running, and just to be in the atmosphere, one of the, one of the, to me, one of the, yeah, one of the greatest fighters of all time, uh, Floyd Mayweather Jr., uh, he's fighting, so I'm very encouraged by, you know, just being around him and seeing him fight, uh, you, know, I, I, you know, I got to know his father, and, and I definitely know Roger Mayweather pretty well, and uh, I'm looking forward to going and seeing the exciting, exciting fight by a great champion, one of the greatest in the history of boxing, and on the contrary, to get myself prepared for the fight myself. Uh, May 18, it's, it's, it's uh, like you just said, it's two weeks away. We are all waiting for this fight. Uh, tell us more about the preparation for this fight, the difference between how you prepare to the other guys uh, guys prepare. Doug Nicholson mentioned that there's nothing you can learn. You can just remember how to do the stuff in the ring. Right. Well, well Boxing is a learning process. Some I learned from the great legendary uh, Larry Holmes. He says, uh, when you when you get to the point where you think you know it all, like, leave it alone. You always learn in boxing. So even right now, I'm learning some things in boxing. And the good thing about boxing at this age, I'm learning how to improvise because there's things that I could do 20 years ago or 10 years ago that I can't be effective as effective as I can now. But it's things that I've learned over the years that I'm able to do now that I wasn't able to do then because of my experience, maturity. During today's training, you show us a couple of uh, George Benton uh, great sneaky punches. Is it uh, uh, the part of unpredictability on your part, which 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 uh, Christoph Zimno will have a biggest problem with? Something that he can never saw it before, unexpected uh, punches? Well, 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 I was going to wait till I get to the press conference there, but I might as well just say it now. Okay, no. uh, <laughs> I'm really taking something from three, three, three great trainers, three awesome guys in, the, in, the, in boxing, Greg Page, Georgie Benton, and Emmanuel Stewart. Those were my three trainers when I was heavyweight champion of the world, Greg Page, Georgie Benton, and Emmanuel Stewart. Emmanuel Stewart just passed, you know, not too long ago, so I'm dedicating this fight to Greg Page, Georgie Benton, and Emmanuel Stewart. So, uh, my, my trainer now, Doc, uh, Mr. Nicholson, he was trained by Emmanuel Stewart too, so we were just really having fun and putting some stuff together, but uh, I think that if the fight go more than two or three rounds or whatnot, I think the people is going to be blessed to see a lot of technique from all three individuals. They're going to see a little Greg Page. They're going to say, wow. They're going to say, you know what? That's what Greg Page used to do back when he was fighting. <laughs> then they're going to see some Georgie Benton. They're going to see me slipping and they're throwing, ooh, we. And then they're going to see some sharpness of uh, Emmanuel Stewart. And then, of course, I got Doc Nicholson, who, like I said, was trained by one of the three, Emmanuel Stewart, and he's a great trainer himself. So I'm very confident, and I'm just in this to have a great time and just give back to those that, that, that that's not here no more. The trainers that was training me when I was heavyweight champion of the world, Greg Page, Emmanuel Stewart, and Georgie Benton. God bless their soul. One and only Atomic Group, Oliver McCall. Thank you, Oliver. Thank you very much, and God bless you.